just feel like the biggest thing I'm going to have here is having the team be a either invincible squad or just a relatively boring squad. So as always, as we do with any past and present squad builder is I'm going to try and have a mix of like players. I really am excited to get into the team. Obviously a mix of like past, present, future players. Um, and a mix of cool players. It's not always going to be the best possible player for every setup. And then we got to work within our range of having, I think, about 2 million coins to work with. That's something else as well. So, I have no idea how much he costs. But there's a few players specifically that I wanted to get. So, one of the main ones, obviously, you're going to have Zway jumping up and down Giddy that I'll be using this pleb. Um, but he has a couple of sick cards, doesn't he? So, I, I honestly think... How the shit am I going to link you up in the... Yo, Podolski's... Dude, look at that card, though. Stats-wise, that's not bad. That league just hurt my soul. Okay, so the Japanese league. We're going to have to get him some sort of soft link, for sure. For sure. All right, I don't even know if that's the cheapest version of him, but okay. So Podolski has got to be in there, man. For if just I, for a little bit of like the FIFA, the FIFA feels, and just having a decent card and making things a little bit uh, more original. I think that's the route that we're gonna have to go here. Now, having said that, I don't know. I wonder how Arsenal fans would feel about this specifically. Like, is Alexis staying? Is he going? What's going on with this card specifically? And w oh, with this player in general? Oh my god, dude. He's 970k. Am I using my entire funds to get Alexis Sanchez in here? I think I think they're legit just going to be holding Sanchez. Um, for sure. So do we go with someone like Alexis Sanchez... How do you how do I put together an Arsenal team without Alexis Sanchez in there? How do how do I do that? You know? The other one as well that I'd like to get is Lacazette. But I'd like to actually get like his god tier card as opposed to just his Arsenal card. You know what I mean? So I realize he has where's his uh there you go. Like he's got his 85 Arsenal version. But genuinely, if I'm gonna go Lacazette, I wanna try and get his best possible version in there. And I don't think it's going to be too hard to fit him into the team. What's his cost? Holy God. Wow, dude. 760. 740. 730 right there. I don't... I, RVP? Really? I despise RVP, dude. I'm not going to use... RVP is going to get into no teams. For all of the bullshit that he, he did... Um, and screwed up for the Netherlands in major tournaments. No thanks, man. No thanks. Alexis Cam? Dudes, this is good. It's just too hard. It's too hard to... It's too hard to... St it, no. This team's gonna need... This team's gonna need some sort of Cam. How do we get the Cam set up, though, is the real question. We're gonna have to make a tough decision here. Honestly. I'd rather use Sanchez. Okay, let's have a look here. Can we make this happen? This guy needs to be in the setup too. Just has to. Just has to. Oh, I was gonna dude, honestly. Well, that's our coins gone right there. If I get Viera, that's our coins done. If I get Viera, that's our coins done. That is absolutely our coins done. So Lacazette's version. If I get Viera, we're done though. Okay, Dennis Burkamp. You gotta get, you just have to get, you just have to get. Patrick Vieira. We could get another version of Sanchez. I mean, you know what I mean? I don't think it's the end of the world if we get another version of Alexis. 
Um, let's just see. What else do we got here? Like, realistically, how much is his 91 version? How much is his 91? Dude. Three what? Three forty? Three eighty? Three seventy? Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting I'm getting Alexis. I'm getting Alexis for sure. I've got uh, I've got a Lacazette as well. So I will get Lacazette. Um I will get Lacazette for sure. But we'll just toss this dude in there. There you go. So we've got Lacazette as a super sub. I think that's cool. That team of the season version is insane though, dudes. Within a few stats, this card is there. So I'm I'm fine with that. Now Let's go get, I want, I want a Vieira. I want a Vieira in there for sure. 865, 865, 751, 751. Dudes, there's just too many, there's too many, too many cards. Too many cards that, that I want. I need this card though. Most people that heavily disagree with me about Conte being the best CDM in the game, in, they usually go and say Vieira is actually the best. I, I didn't use VR too much this year, but I'd like to experience that card a little bit more. Now, Ozil's the easy answer here. You, you know, you go with a, a certain version of Mezit, and we're good to go. There's too many. There's too many cards, man. How am I going to build an Arsenal team without Bergkamp? How am I going to then build an Arsenal team... Uh, past and present without Ozil. How am I going to do an Arsenal team that doesn't have like Freddy in it? And Overmars. And Perez. There's just too much. So again, people are just going to get super upset with the fact that I'm not fitting in uh, enough of their heroes. That That's just an, un, an inevitable process. Let's go have a look at uh, Mezid. What his card, card stats are like. And what is his best card? Did Ozil... Hold on. So we've got a 91 rated version of him. Oh, damn. He's cheap. He's cheap-ish. I mean, so could do that. Could do that. And then... You know what? Could also do this. Could go 442. Might make the team a little bit more little bit more boring. Then Burkamp isn't in the setup. Then Burkamp isn't in the setup. Hmm. Cause I'm thinking we could then do Overmars. We could do Freddy. Can we do, would it be a bit easier to do 4-3, four, 4-3-1-2? Three, four, three, would it be a bit easier? Well, I was thinking, just to piss off a few people as well, but like I was thinking Cashley Cole here, but that is absolutely not needed. Okay, how about in that case, how about in that case we do something like this then? I mean, Ozil, uh, maybe then that would be a little bit better. Could do that. Could do that. And then it's like, who the hell gets used where? Um... And I'd like to get at least one team of the season in here too. I probably should have bought the team of the season Sanchez, but we wouldn't have much to work with if I did do that. So uh, the easy option here, of course, is Dennis Bergkamp at um, at at Cam, one thirty four, one thirty six, 
140. Okay, so 136 is cheapest. Cess Fabregas. <laughs> All right, 134, whatever. I don't think it really matters which one I go with particularly. Serge Nabry's team of the season at left mid at least. Ah, yeah. Okay. Is the only Arsenal team of the season Sanchez as it is? Why am I like drawing a blank at team of the season cards and stuff like that? Sanchez is the only Arsenal team of the season, huh? Oh, you know what we could do? You know what we could do? Yo, their new signing, which will link with absolutely nobody. Oh, good Lord. Kolasinac. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to... Kolasinac. Could take out Podolski. I kind of wanted to have Podolski in there though. 45, is that the cheapest? I really should pay attention. Yeah, 45 is the cheapest. Got a Shadow Kemp style on him as well. So I'm thinking maybe Dennis the Menace right here. Dennis the Menace right here. Nah, Bentner will use for a troll as like a super sub or something like that. 315. What the hell are these prices? Aww, uh, and then if I go 315, if I do get Dennis, now we're really working with no money. Oh man, it's so hard running Fatal and like trying to do past and present squad builders all at the same time as well. Hmm. I want I want Dennis Burkamp in here though. I mean he kind of makes everything click as well. He's pretty key. He's pretty key here. I'm just tempted to see what this goes for on bid, honestly. Past and present squad builders aren't about trying to bid on cards, though. But, who knows? Could just see where the hell this price goes. I can't do this live, unfortunately. It's just going to be 20 million people bidding on this. I already got outbid, didn't I? How many different... Whoa, 313. I'm blind, dude. Worth the wait, potentially. Alright, we'll 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 have a look at that and then we'll reassess. Because there's also a few other um I mean there's an easy way for me to build up the coins, quite honestly, but um let's just see what we gotta pay for a Dennis uh Dennis the Menace here. This is just idiotic though. Let's just accelerate this bidding process. Okay. This is going to take so stupidly long. Maybe not. Maybe not. Wow, past and present squad builders have really dropped, dudes. I used to just, like, toss money away at this. What are you looking at here? I 
I just don't know what his going rate is either. I'm assuming it's just going to be 300k. That's that's what I'm thinking. Murdersacker at striker could do depending on the on the lack of coins we have. Could do. This'll go for two ninety nine on bid easy. Yeah. Alright. Well, could have saved us a lot of heartache here. Dude, for 15k, what am I doing? All of this for 15k? Not even! All of this for 12k! Legit! All of this for like 12k. Screw this, dude. Screw this. I'm out. I'm out. Sorry for wasting your time, bros. Let's get back on it. We got this. Um, so we're gonna go here. Dude, this is going to be the realest version of past and present squad builders, bro. Purely because you guys are gonna see me struggling to generate coins to try and get this stuff set up. Um Okay. So, is this the right setup? Is this the right setup? And then who do we want to use? There's just going to be too many players off of cam. I think this is going to be another one of those things where I'm trying to fit too many different players into the team. Um and it's just not going to it's just not going to work here. You know one of the interesting ones which is crazy. I know a lot of people are going to say I can't believe you're not using uh Robert Perez. And stuff like that. But I do have this animal. So there's that. Do I need Podolski in the setup? Do we care about upsetting's way? I don't know. Maybe we just use Podolski as a super sub as well, right? Could always use Podolski as a super sub here. Something like that. Podolski will be more fun than Ozil. Okay, so right now we'll have Podolski will be off of Chem. Um, and Kolasinac will be off of Chem. For sure. I'll probably, in game, I'll probably swap um uh puddles and dennis the menace okay can we do this hold on hold on hold just just bear with me for a second yeah can do that very easily but then i'm just moving players around every yeah the reason why i have it like this is because i want ozil with his left foot on the left and i want Vieira with his right foot on the right but whatever we can do that that's no problem um yeah that's no problem and then no one then and then no one then bellerin um The next guy that's got to be in here. You got to get Soul in there. I don't have him, but... How much is he? <laughs> no! <laughs> well, I'm stupid on many different levels. I cleared out the club a little bit, so we should have more coins to work with now. There you go. Soul needs to be in the team, man. He just, he just has to be in the setup. So we're going to do this. 145 we're good to go now i apologize for all the poldy fans out there dudes but i completely forgot about one specific card i had in the club um that just gotta be in there and he's pack bold for god's sakes and this is a set whoa not transfer market that's for sure and it's essentially one of the only times i'm probably going to be able to use him this year I've got two different versions of Petit. Anyways, let's use the CDM version. So there you go. In fact, we could go back to 3-5-2 as well. Might be an even more stable formation. 
Damn, this looks like a good team too. It looks really, really nice. I actually think everyone's going to be on chem too. Okay, so that's what we're going to roll with. Then the question's going to be... Who and what gets used where defensively? So I can't think of any like past Arsenal defenders outside of Campbell that I would want to use. Um, and Koscielny doesn't have... Wouldn't mind Koscielny. Uh, Mustafi, that's his inform or one to walk? Holy God. Look at me. What the hell? Oh, we've got Murdersacker Extreme as well. Yo. Does Colo get in the team too? Do we get Colo? Colo, Colo. Do we get him in the setup? Vermullen. <laughs> Yo, how? Okay, hold on a sec. Does Colo get in the setup? Dudes, are we doing this for Bants or are we doing this for seriousnesses? You gotta go. Yeah, yeah, man. Anybody remember JJ's KSI's like old school Murdersacker Extreme um, videos, man? You almost gotta get him in there just for that. The old school JJ Road to Division 1s and stuff like that were so good, man. Uh, okay. So we'll do that. So we've got four legends and one past slash present player. So it's not really that original of a team. And yes, I could put Layman in the setup too. I mean, you could essentially just build a full of Invincibles team and it would be so sick. The irony now too is I could have probably got a team of the season Alexis Sanchez too. Had I just cleared out the club a little bit more um, before all of this was said and done. Um, could do Chesney. Could do Chesney. Could do Chesney. Man, how do you spell his name? Is it S Z? It is. You see all this stuff about him? Um, and, 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 and what he said about Arsenal and stuff like that. And even now on his move to, I believe, Juventus, it might've just been there. I didn't even pay attention to it, but like all of his love for Arsenal, man, I just didn't know that Chesney had that much love for, for, for Arsenal, man. Even after, you know, his time at Roma, etc. Um, so could do that. No issue. 33, 32, 30, 28. 27 yeah he could go could go semen could go you know what i mean like you could go so many different ways but why not that changes it up a little bit that's kind of a weird looking arsenal team i gotta say compared to all the other past and present squads we've built this year this is a little bit of an, a more odd one i will say um I think it's Rob, right? Just go with that for the sake of it. What? What? You know, people are screaming and uh, screaming as well for this. I don't really get why, but <sighs> good God, this team. What even is this team even? What even is this team even? I can't. I can't do that it. D. I can't do it. I can't do it. Um. I don't even want him for the. I don't even. I don't even want him for the bench. Nah. Nah. I don't even want him for the bench. Let's see what type. What type of chem we can get for. Uh, for Colo. What are we looking at here? Zero chem. Okay, let, let's let's move some players up to their proper positions, and then we'll really be able to tell what we're working with. Because we need full chem. Uh, a Premier League manager might be the best uh, the best option here. Yeah, Lord Bentner will put on the uh, will put on the bench for sure. Center forward to striker, beautiful. 
And then the only other one that's not in position is um, Mezit, right? Yeah. Center mid to center attacking mid. Here we go. I just changed him as well, didn't I? Very recently. Okay. Okay. So even then... 89 chem. Let's look at a Premier League manager just to see where that takes us to. Conte instead of... Here we go. Let's just... Let's just make it right. Okay. 10, 9. Oh! No wonder, dude! Theo Walcott! I, for some reason, I thought I had him as a... Um, as a right winger. So I thought he'd get 10 chem because he's on... He's, he's pack pulled. But no, you idiot. Oh, we'll have no issue then. There we go. All right, my apologies for that one. Then we screwed we screwed that up. Or sorry, I I screwed that up. My bad. All right, Colo, my man. Happily, maybe use you as a super sub, depending on what your inflated price is right now. What are these prices? Like, what even 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 are these even? This is just so stupid. Sorry, Colo. I just don't care enough. Um. So, Koscielny holding. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do? I feel like people would be a hell of a lot happier if I did this, than just went with like Koscielny. Koscielny's the easier, the easier option, you know. Do we do it? Do we? Do we give ourselves a bit of a struggle? Do we give ourselves a bit of a struggle that gives us full chem, which is amazing. And maybe we just go with Koscielny on the bench. You know, if Holding's really struggling and just can't keep it together, maybe we'll get we'll go with Laurent Koscielny uh, on the bench. <laughs> Alright, let's just, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Done deal. Perfect. Alright, yo, I'm actually pretty happy with that. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Um, so we've got Kalasinac in there. We've got Dennis the Menace. We've got Patrick Vieira. We've got um, Alexis Sanchez. I like it. I like it. Now, we'll, I'm going to work. I've got all the kits selected. I'm going to make sure I get all the numbers right. We've got the stadium selected and stuff like that. And then let's just see how this does in divisions. All right. So this is the first team we're coming up against. Okay. Relatively interesting few weak points in the setup there. I think Sanchez should be able to work down that right side of his field. It's a nice team, though. Interesting in, in a few ways. I don't even know. Like, Stefan Jovetic at Cam, I think, is a great decision. It's got a pretty damn attacking midfield, though. Not bad. On mark now. He's lost his marker. Kevin Gamero. Well, he's put it away brilliantly. Um, yes. hey, Per Murdersacker. I thought you're supposed to be a murder sacker extreme, dude. You just got beat by Kevin Gamero, bro. Oh, and of course I fired that right at him. Nice chance right after, too. Okay. Just really, really working his balls off to defend. <gasps> murder sacker! Oh, let's go! Per murder sacker or Dennis Burkham? Who? I'm pretty sure that was Per murder sacker. 69, number 69, Murdersacker laying it off for Patrick Vieira. Let's go. Good reply. I like that. Okay, so Murdersacker from villain to hero instantaneously. This guy is such a degenerate, man. Like, just play, bro, please. Okay, that was meant for Patrick Vieira. Patrick Vieira gets the ball back. Oh, Alexis takes so long to get the shot off, but we're doing a little bit better here. It's a super weird game right now. Like, it's just very glitchy and dumb, but... Oh, what's happening? Oh, good God. Oh, Ter Stegen, another big save. Did I have a sweat opportunity there? Did I have a sweat opportunity there? A little bit lucky. To get that rebound back. No, I, I think that was the only choice I had, really. Dennis. Dennis! Oh, that's probably my fault. Come on. 
Okay. Come on, we're creating the chances though. As 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 floppy and weird as this formation and really this team feels, uh, out of all the past and present squads, at least defensively, I just feel like I don't have players. Love it. That's great. Come on, Theo, give me that option. Beautiful. 45th minute coming up, and that is maybe the easiest pass ever for Theo Walcott. How is that so inaccurate? He's pretty much full stamina as well. I haven't even used Theo Walcott, really. Um, God, that was so bad. Okay, come on. Here we go. I'm really enjoying Kalasanash, though. He's, uh, he's a bit of a menace. No way. <laughs> I'm so awful! That's on me, man. I'd love to be able to sit there and blame Theo Walcott and stuff like that for not just putting it in the net. But that's on me, man. This is just not good play. Luck there. Holding? Oh my. Oh, yeah, of course. Alexis Sanchez has high, high. Alexis Sanchez has high, high work rates. No wonder, man. Him and holding are. That's a great play. Like, where the fuck is my team? That's a pen! That's a pen! Oh, Podolski earns the pen! Oh, God, no! I put Murtisacker on penalties, dude, and that could decide the game. Murtisacker's at fault for the goal. He's credited for the equalizing goal. Oh, no. Oh, God. Per Murtisacker, please, bro. I beg. Oh god, oh god, oh god. And he saved it. It's past the Dennis Bergkamp takes it in easily. Look at how fucking idiotically they're moving with the ball! Working away to try and find an opening. Good position. They've worked this attack very well. Please! Oh Dennis! Oh god! I'm so sorry! Oh, this is supposed to be fun, man! Oh, Ozil, what a pass. What a touch from Dennis the Menace. There we go, man. Oh, God, the frustration levels are so high right now. Dennis Bergkamp's got the ball here. Trying to switch on the attacking pass. Here's a chance. I honestly... Can you believe that I play this game, like, as my job? Can you believe I play this game as my job? Can anybody believe that this is, this is what I do for a living? Can anybody believe? I feel like I'm a new FIFA player. Anyways, oh God. First game, we gotta win. It was a struggle, man. This team does not feel great and I, I'm not using it well, at least. Maybe I, I, I'm just bad. Number two, this is a PMRTG apparently. Meta, Meta Squad is the title of this team. God bless, okay. Well, I should be in trouble. Dude, how many times do you gotta succeed in a fucking tackle, dude? And, and, and enough times to just allow him to score instantly. All right. Okay, that's cool. Oh, too much, Nick. That's my bad. That was actually pretty nice. That was actually pretty nice. I just tried to do too much with it there. Should have maybe just had a go with uh, Mesut Ozil. No, no, no. I, am I that bad? Oh my god! How am I so bad at this game? Uh, that's a good play. Into the corner. That was a shot by Petit! 
see, I can't. I'm done. I don't want to. I don't. FIFA 18, please come out. It was. Is it almost out, guys? No. That's on me. That that right there is on me. I'm so angry and frustrated. Why am I not taking another touch there, man? I still though. Butlin needs to freaking relax. Oh, that was the most frustrating past and present squad builder episode I've ever done, man. Oh god, dude. I'd love to blame that on just this team being absolutely garbage. Um, but it's not. It's just on me. Of course. I get a man of the match as well, losing a game one nothing. Just insane. Oh god. Anyways, I'm just I think I'm just over FIFA 17, really. Um, I, I don't have the mentality to deal with all the crap that happens in this game and all the things that are broken with it. I'm not good enough to get past it. I realize that as much as I blame the game while I'm playing, I know that 90% at least, probably 95% of my losses are just due to my own fault. Whether I make mistakes defensively, don't put away chances offensively, whatever it is. In the moment, as I'm losing games and stuff like that, like sure, okay. I, I get it. I sit there and cry and maybe it sounds like I'm trying to blame the game and stuff like that and whatever. And yes, there's a lot of instances where the game is just awful in my eyes, but I'm man enough to be able to sit back and just realize that it's just, it's me. I'm just, I'm just doing so many different things incorrectly here. Um, and especially with a team like this, doesn't matter if I don't like the formation or I should be able to win pretty comfortably with a team like this. Uh, you know, there's no excuse for me missing endless opportunities with Bergkamp in front of the net, you know, with Ozil, like, I was just, just poor. So, my apologies to Arsenal fans, if I didn't represent your guys' team very well, uh, feel free to let me know. I, 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 I don't know what to say. I definitely let you guys down. Maybe I just didn't build a good enough team. Uh, you guys can always let me know how you would build your past and present Arsenal team that maybe would be better than what I managed to put together. I thought switching to 4 2 3 1, the team did get a hell of a lot better. We took off holding. And so let me show you guys before we end things off. Like, if you didn't see in the replays and stuff like that, I basically switched to this formation um, and then I moved a few things around in game. So we did this, uh, we did this, and then we did this. So that was the setup. And then at halftime, I kept holding on and to be fair holding is a decent card so banter aside like holding is a decent card maybe it's maybe i lost because i didn't use bentner i don't know but anyways this was kind of the setup of the team that i used uh through this second half of the first game and the second half of the third game and it was way better um and looking at the the players on the field i shouldn't be losing pair murder soccer was fantastic uh, i didn't particularly like soul campbell not gonna lie i do not like petite he felt useless. Uh, Patrick Vieira was good. I still think Conte is much better. Much better. Uh, and I do think player of the year Conte or team of the season Conte is the best CDM in the game. At, at least for me. Uh, I know a lot of pro FIFA players will probably disagree considering they all, I think, still use Patrick Vieira. But anyways, that's my review on the team. I, I, I'm more disappointed in myself than in the team. And hopefully for next past and present squad builder, we'll do better. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the flip side.